What's up? Malibu by Hole. It's a cool song. It's a cool riff. So we're just talking about the first four chords. So let's take a look at the grips. The first chord is an E minor ninth. So beautiful. I am playing this with my first finger on the A string, but it is also, also muting the D string under it, like so. And then I've got my second finger on the second uh, fret of the low E string. That's the ninth. And then the seventh, the little D there. I actually prefer this than any other voicing of this. I have a saying, and that saying is, if you play all six strings, you better mean it. Okay, back to the show. E minor ninth is the first chord. It's beautiful because you just have to move one finger over to your D chord and don't forget your thumb to mute the low E string. And don't forget your thumb to mute the low E string, to mute the low E string. In fact, that's a good way to learn the chord, is just to take your D chord and move your index finger over to the A string, mute the D string with it, la la. So you got E minor, ninth, D, and then here's the money chord. Oh, this is so beautiful. So here's the money chord. Okay, what do we got? Middle finger on the seventh fret of the low E. Middle finger on the seventh fret of the low E. Ring finger on the seventh fret of the G. Pinky finger, fourth finger on the seventh fret of the B. Ring finger on the seventh fret of the G. Pinky finger, fourth finger on the seventh fret of the B. Again, a little bit of muting action. If you really want to mute the heck out of it, you could also place this index finger. And then a couple of open strings ringing out really nice. The open E string and the open D string. And then an A major chord. Oh, little muting up and up here with the thumb. Oh, little muting up and little muting up and up here with the thumb. Otherwise, I've got first finger at the fifth fret of the B string, second finger at the sixth fret of the G, third finger at the seventh fret of the D string, first finger at the fifth fret of the B string, second finger at the sixth fret of the G, third finger at the seventh fret of the D string. And if you like a little extra shimmer in there, you can take your first finger off. You can take your first finger off to get a little add nine on your A major triad. So again, E minor ninth, move your D, make sure to fret, uh, mute that low E string. And then this is a B minor 11, I guess you would call it, or some people might call it a B minor add four. Sorry, there's a little rattle in my acoustic. And then A major. Maybe a little A add nine if you like. And then we got this down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up, down, up. Up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. And here's one thing you want to notice that I'm doing is as I'm coming, as I'm coming, as I'm coming from as I'm coming from uh, the A chord I'm playing the E open E string, the low E string all by itself to make the transition back to the E minor 9. Sing the low E string all by itself to make the transition back to the E minor 9. So let me talk that strum through a little bit again. Down, down down, down, up, down. I might just play down, up, down right there and then mute the, mute the high strings. So like this. Up, up, down, down, up. And then I've got the A and the, A and the uh, D string ringing out to cover my tracks as I move up the neck for this chord. Let me tr play that transition in super slow motion.
I'll release it on the and of. I might release it a little bit later. So you'll notice I'll release it when the hand comes up on the right hand. So I'll go down, 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 up, up, down, down, up. Hear that? I'm not actually striking the strings, although I might. the same thing on this last chord. I really like that trick. Release the strings and you have to release the pressure and then take the fingers off the strings. And you have to release the pressure and then take the fingers off the strings so that you can get that smooth transition. And that's the whole sequence. Notice I did the same trick. I play the bass note of the B minor nine, B minor eleven. Notice I did the same trick. I play the bass note of the B minor nine, B minor eleven. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, follow, ring the bell, tell everybody you know. Okay, take care. Bye.